Hey guys, Courtney here with Southern Owls. Today we are going to be making a medium sized wreath and we are going to be using this sign this morning. I am so excited. It says, hey girl, hey. It's going to be so stinking cute. I had already attached my pipe cleaners to it so it's ready to roll. So I'm just going to set this out of the way and we're going to start attaching our pipe cleaners right to this wreath form. This is a 14 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree. So we are just going to attach these pipe cleaners right to the ring of this wreath form. And we are just going to keep these pipe cleaners long. I'm doing one um, pipe cleaner per, per bracket. And I'm doing that outer two brackets. And we are just attaching these pipe cleaners right now. Hey! Hey guys! How are y'all? Good morning! Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing? Sorry, guys, I was supposed to go live last night, and you know what? My husband got called into work. There was a crisis at work. They, the whole campus lost power, so he had to go in last night. So that means I was on kid duty. <laughs> so I'm on this morning. We are gonna make this custom order together. This is a 14 inch wreath frame from the dollar store. And this is going to be so cute. It's going to be with the cow sign that says, hey girl, hey. And um, this order, she found me on TikTok. So I don't know if she's watching. I think her name's Erin. And she lives um, in League City. So she's going to come and pick up this wreath from me in Sugarland. So I love that. I love that me, um, I get to connect with people from here, which is awesome. Hey, happy Monday! Yes, yes. Where are y'all watching from? What are y'all up to? I'm so excited about this wreath. It's going to be so cute. So this is going to be a medium size wreath. And it's going to be very similar to the one that I did previously on live. Um, but it's just going to be a little bit smaller. Hey, Ohio. Good morning. Of course. Hey, Alabama. Hey, yes. Ooh, Rio Grande, yes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start off with our 21 inch deco mesh. And I'm just gonna throw that off the side of my table so it doesn't roll up on me. Hey Shreveport, Katie. Yes, Katie. Yes. I know, being lazy. I know, I feel ya. Wisconsin, hey Dallas. Okay, guys, so I just gathered that. 21 inch mesh in my hand and now we're going to do 10 inch poofs all the way around hey florida hey california and we aren't skipping any pipe cleaners so we are doing 10 inch poofs and laying them down in every single pipe cleaner i did one pipe cleaner um on the outer ring per bracket and then I went in between those two brackets and put one. So we're going to have 12 pipe cleaners, 12 pipe cleaners total today. Oh my goodness. Cutting some fabric. Ooh, fabric. Gar I'll bet you those are gorgeous. I've never done that before. That's going to be so cute. Oh my. All right, so we are just doing that 10 inch poofs all the way around. What you're going to do is you're going to measure, all you do is just measure out that 10 inches. So you're going to slide your hand down, measure out 10 inches, and then add that right into those pipe cleaners. And we're not skipping any pipe cleaners. We're putting them all in right now. And we're going to leave those pipe cleaners long because that's where we're going to add our deco mesh. And we are going to add our cruffles and our ribbon tails. Hey guys, thanks for all the new follows. All right, where's my fellow crafters at? Y'all put some purple hearts in my comments. Let me see where y'all are at. What are y'all doing? Just going around, laying down this deco mesh putting it into these pipe cleaners. This is gonna be a medium size um, wreath when we're all done with it. Oh, I need to learn how to, um, hold on, give me a minute. Oh, it went away. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. So I hate when people ask to join lives. Like, I need to like somehow find out how to permanently turn that off. Hey, California. Um, how far apart are my pipe cleaners? So I did um one pipe cleaner on the outer rings on the brackets, and then I just went right in the middle of those brackets and added another pipe cleaner just right in the middle. When I'm all done, um, I'll show you the back so you can kind of get a feel for that. All right, we got two more poofs left. Y'all, I ordered this deco mesh um, from Craft Outlet, and it's got like this funky smell to it. <laughs> hey, oh, love all the purple hearts. I'm so glad you're here today. What are y'all working on, crafters? Y'all working on anything today? Y'all taking the day off? What are y'all doing? All right, last section. I'm just gonna cut off that extra. Throw it to the side. I'm gonna tuck those little ends into those poofs. Okay. So I attached pipe cleaners to every bracket. So there's six brackets on this wreath form. So I attached one to the outer rings of these brackets and then one just right in the middle. And then so when I did the poofs, I just went up and down, up and down, the whole way around. So that's what that's looking like right now. Yes, I love... I love looking at resize. Oh, you're sick. I'm so sorry. I did, guys. I hopped on yesterday. I did a video on how to ship reads out. Um, give me a couple days. I will upload that to my YouTube channel also. So go, um, go follow my channel on YouTube, Southern Owls, and um, I'll upload that video. And guys, if y'all want more videos like that, um, whenever I get a shipment, I'll totally go live and box it with y'all. Like, that is, that's not a problem at all. We can totally do that together. So, I'm just going to pull all of these pipe cleaners up so I can see them. And I cheated. I pre-cut all my mesh. Um, <laughs> when I was, uh, getting everything ready, I was like, you know, I'm not going to bore them too much. So, <laughs> I pre-cut all my mesh. This is 10 inch deco mesh, and I cut it in 25 inch pieces. And what I've done is just the cruffle method. So I let that deco mesh roll in on itself a few times, pinch that middle, and then walk my fingers to the other side. And then I'm just gonna do black and white, those two colors, on, and we're gonna do every other. And we're just going to sandwich that right in to those poofs. And we're just going to keep on going all the way around. And I pre-cut this so y'all wouldn't be too bored because I know that part's kind of boring. Aww. Thanks. You just have to keep, keep on hustling. I mean, I've made... I've been making wreaths for just two years, and I have made, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way, too, and I just, I take it as a learning lesson, and then I just try something different, and I was scared. A lot of it was just, like, me being nervous about, about Etsy, because you hear so many bad things about Etsy, and, um, I don't know, I just didn't know what direction to take. So I definitely made some mistakes. I mean, guys, I've done two craft shows, and they totally bombed. Like, totally, totally tanked. What the first craft show I ever did, the only reason why I even made sales is because my friends came to support me. And that was it. We had no foot traffic at this craft show. It was kind of off the beaten path. And so I'm like, okay, lesson learned. So I didn't do another craft show for a really long time. So then I did another one. I was like, you know what, let's, let's see what happens. So I got back out there, I did another craft show, and I didn't sell anything. So I was like, you know what, okay, craft shows, craft shows, and they're just not my niche. So I just had to regroup and just think of something else to do because 
I was like, all right, we're not, <laughs> those aren't successful. Let's go back to the drawing board and figure out something else to do. And so last October, 2022 October, I decided to give Etsy a shot. I, I opened my Etsy shop in 2021 and I posted like two reads. I had no idea what I was doing. You know, I was just trying. I got no views, you know, no traffic to my page. And um, I just gave up. You know, I took them off and I was like, I'll just sell locally. And then I just, I don't know, this year, 2022, I was like, this is, I'm going to just really start putting myself out there. I started making TikToks. I just joined TikTok this summer, like June or July of 2022. And I was like, let's start setting some goals. I'm going to post daily. And I did. I posted every day, every day. And then it just takes that one video guys to go viral. And then that's it. So that's my, <laughs> that's my truth. Just keep hustling. Just keep trying to think of new mini goals, you know, make yourself uncomfortable and just try to do something different. Try to make it work. And so I just feel so fortunate um, that it happened. And I keep on I keep on posting every day. Just because a couple of videos went viral, it doesn't matter. I keep on just keep on hustling and keep on posting. Trying to think of new ways to get, you know, my my tiny wreath business out there. I am blessed though, you know, me being a hairdresser, I do put my wreaths up in my salon, so that's another way that I sell wreaths, and um, I work in um, a craft studio, uh, not a craft studio, a hair studio, so there's like a hundred other hairdressers in there, and um, they're, we're so supportive of each other, and they buy wreaths from me, they send their clients to me, so, you know, you just have to like really just... Start thinking outside the box, you know, find a boutique in your town and see if they'll let you, you know, commission wreaths there or I don't know. You just got to think outside the box sometimes and hopefully it happens to everyone, right? That's what we want. Everyone wants a little, a little piece of the pie, right? Okay, guys, we got one more section. Sorry for going off on a, <laughs> going off over there. I know. It's tough. It's so tough. I have so many people, um, you know, they're like, don't you get nervous when you go live? And I'm like, no, I'm talking to my phone. <laughs> like, Now put me in front of, let's see, I have 345, seven people watching. Put me in front of a, like an auditorium or on stage and all y'all were watching me. No way. I would clam up. My mind would go blank. I would walk off stage and be like, what did I, what did I even talk about? Like, <laughs> But you just, you know, sometimes making yourself uncomfortable is good. It's growth. Okay, so that was the last section. So fun. So cute. So that's going to just mimic that cow color, right? And give it that little bit of black and white that I want in there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Was I a cheerleader in high school? No. No, absolutely not, guys. Absolutely not. No way. No way. I was actually um, on the dance team. <laughs> I was on the dance team and I was an FFA. Yeah, that's right. I was in Future Farmers of America. I raised pigs and I raised goats and I loved every second of it. <laughs> and then I was also on the dance team, mm -hmm. which was so fun. Oh my gosh, those were some good, some good days being on the dance team no I could never oh my gosh like again like that stage fright so I didn't grow up doing competitive dance like I really feel like that wasn't a huge thing for us um and then once I got into high school you know we would do competitive dance and once again, I was like, I'm going to solo. I'm going to do a solo. It's going to be great. And I got on stage, looked at the audience and saw all those people and forgot my solo, completely clammed up and um, just improvised. I was just doing improv dance because I totally forgot my whole solo. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm just setting out my ribbon now since we're done with the mesh part of the wreath. And we're going to make a super cute bow. 
And this is, did I show you all the sign? That's the sign, the Hey Girl Hey sign. Okay. And here we go. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to start off with some two and a half inch wired ribbon. And we are going to pinch off right at that six inch mark. And that's going to be our first ribbon tail. And we are going to do 10 inch loops. And we're going to do two of those. So I just measure out 10 inches and bring them together and cut right off at that six inch mark. And I am just holding this in between my thumb and my pointer finger. And we are just going to start adding in these layers. I'm gonna turn my sign around so I can, I might actually use that other plaid too. All right, I'm gonna take this brown polka dots and we're gonna do the same thing. Six inches, lay that right down, two 10 inch loops. And I'm just twisting as I'm going, manipulating where I want that ribbon to go in my hand. And we're gonna cut off another six inches. And this is all two and a half inch wired ribbon. I'm gonna take this cute burlap and black polka dot next. Same thing six inches just lay that right on top and let's shrink my loops down by an inch so these are going to be two nine inches i'm just measuring out nine inches and then gathering them up and then twisting my ribbon so it's always facing the right direction all right and i'll make the super cute farm ribbon that i have with the farm animals and same thing, six inches for the tail and two nine inch loops. And cut off that six inches again. And I'm just gonna pick up that whole piece because I want it facing opposite. I want like that cross pattern. So I just picked up that whole section and rearranged it in my hand. All right, we are going to use this super cute cow print ribbon that I have as an accent. And this is one and a half inch wired ribbon that I'm using now. I'm gonna shrink my loops down to eight, so you're just gonna measure out eight inches and then gather that right in your hand. Cut that off. And then I'm gonna take this um, super cute tiny polka dot ribbon and we're gonna finish off this bow with this one. It is so cute. Eight inches, two of those, and twist that ribbon as you go so it's always facing up. So the pattern of your ribbon is always facing the right direction. So cute. And then I actually, I probably should have done the cow one last because I just got in my head that I want to do the loop and cow print. <laughs> so let's just add a six inch tail. We're going to loop that around our finger. And that's where we're going to thread the ribbon through. And cut off another six inches. We are going to take our wire or pipe cleaner, whatever you have. And I'm just going to thread that right through where I'm holding it. Good morning, and give that a few good twists. Hey, if you're new here, put some purple hearts in the comments. Let me see. Y'all new, this is y'all's first time watching. All right, so we are just gonna give that a few twists, make it really nice and tight, and then I'm gonna set this down, and I'm gonna start fluffing out my bow, making sure all the loops and the tails are looking good. Ooh, purple comments. Hey hearts, I love it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining my live today. If y'all are new, I do sell my reads on Etsy, guys. My name's Southern Owls. My link's in my bio on TikTok, so you can find all of my cool stuff there. Um, I post all my lives on YouTube also, so if you're just joining in, I will post this 
on my YouTube channel later. My name's Southern Owls. And that is my name on all social media. Hey, Purple Hearts. Glad y'all are here with me today. I love it. I'm based in um, Houston, Texas. That's another question I get asked pretty often. And if you're in the area, I do sell my wreaths out of my hair studio in Sugarland, Texas. So you can always place a custom order with me if you're local and you can come pick it up. Or I still take custom orders and I'll ship it to y'all. So those are just some other options. You just gotta message me though. It's so weird, like when you go live and you download your lives, all the comments are gone. So I have, after this live is done, I can't see all's comments anymore. Um, all of my ribbon today, guys, is from Craft Outlet. It's a online store uh, based out of Louisiana. So I like to use them because normally, since I'm in Texas, they ship it and it's here within a day or two. So I just like them because they're very speedy. The quality's better than the big box stores. Um, I highly recommend. <clears throat> I highly recommend using a smaller person to order your stuff from than the big box stores because normally the price point is way better and the quality is is way better also. Okay, we're just gonna fluff out these loops a little bit and then I'll show y'all what this bow is looking like. And this is a custom order. She lives, she found me on TikTok and she lives in League City. So she's gonna come to my studio and pick this up. So that works out perfect. Oh, where'd my wire go? There it is. Okay, oh, I just smushed that when I uh, <laughs> brought it up to the camera. Okay, so this is what our bow is looking like. All those fun textures and layers. Yes, it is. Hey, Erin, this one's yours, girl. I'm so excited that you're here. All right, so we are going to attach the bow and the sign to this wreath. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna lay this out. I'm gonna find, I need to find a top bracket. Cause I think, I don't think I wanna do this one. I don't know, I'm kinda of debating on, oh, maybe I do. Cause I think it might be a little awkward to do it off center cause the sign is pretty big. Okay, we're gonna put the sign in the middle and then the bow on top. So I'm going to do the sign first so we don't smush. Our bow, and this is the sign. If y'all are just tuning in, hey girl, hey. <laughs> so if y'all want the same wreath, guys, I just ordered more of these signs uh, because Erin reached out to me, um, my friend Dawn reached out to me, and they both wanted this sign. So I ordered an extra one. So if y'all want this wreath, um, message me in the comments and I'll totally make it for you. I also found another cute um, southern sign. What did it say? Uh, country roads take me home so I picked up that one too because I just thought it was adorable okay so I'm just threading these pipe cleaners right through the mesh you want to do it through the mesh because you want your wreath sign to sit on top of it you don't want it to sink in craft outlet I got this sign off of craft outlet guys okay I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna flip my wreath. And then I'm gonna pull these pipe cleaners up to the wreath bracket. And put them mm -hmm. on. Oh, thanks for liking my Etsy shop, by the way. I'm not wearing my watch today. I totally forgot it because I took a shower. So I always, um, I take it off and I, <laughs> I forgot to put it back on. So I can see the notifications at the top of my phone now. So I really appreciate y'all going and liking my Etsy shop. And by doing that, whenever I post a new wreath on um, my Etsy shop, you'll get the notifications for it. Okay. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna tuck this back in the back. And I'm gonna attach that to the back also just so we know the sign's not gonna go 
anywhere. So I'm going to grab another pipe cleaner and cut it in half. And I'm just threading that right through. I'm gonna attach it to that bracket just for a little bit more stability. Yes, I love Craft Outlet, guys. It's so good. Um, so this wreath, I did the 10 inch poof method for the base. So that's like that burlap poly jute is 10 inch poofs. You can see it better from the back. And then I tucked in some 25 inch uh, pieces. This was 10 inch deco mesh that I used to cut those super cute cruffles. Okay, oh, I love it. Okay, let's add the bow. A super, super cute bow. We're gonna add it to the top. Same thing, oh, I'm stuck on my mesh. Same thing, you wanna put it through that deco mesh because you want your bow to set on top of the mesh and not sink in. You're welcome. Oh, I think you were saying thank you to someone in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's a custom order, but um, if you want the same wreath, I did purchase more of these signs last night, so hopefully they will come in um, probably Tuesday. Hopefully they'll come in Tuesday. So I do have one extra, because I do have another custom order using the same sign, um, so I'm going to knock that one out also. And, um, but I will have one extra sign. I mean, guys, I can always order more. So if y'all like this, just message me. And um, I'm gonna post that extra one on my Etsy page. Okay, so I'm just threading this wire through and giving it a few little twisties back here. And I'll fluff it out a little bit, my bow, since I kinda I'm just manipulating it. Oh my gosh, I love this like little hint of cow print. It is so darling. So cute. Okay, let's fluff out this little guy over here. Cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. So, so cute. Okay, and now I'm gonna go and we are gonna cut off some tails and we're gonna put them all over this wreath. So all of these opened ends are gonna be full of ribbon. So I'm gonna place this right here. Boop. Um, so my prices um, vary. I have three different sizes. I have a small, medium, large. And if you're local, <clears throat> if you're local, they start at 55, 65, and 75. Um, but if you're buying on Etsy, I include my shipping price. So they're anywhere from like an 80 to 115 because guys, it costs like minimum, or I should say, I don't know, shipping can be anywhere from like 20 to like 35, mm -hmm. 40 bucks. So I have to add in that shipping price. So that's why they are a little bit more on my Etsy page because I just do shipping included. But if you're local, you can come and um, pick it up at my shop in Sugarland, Texas. Um, yeah, so my bases, I always use 21 inch deco mesh. Um, I just like it because it gives more coverage. You could totally, okay, I don't say always. I shouldn't say always because I have used 10 inch deco mesh. Um, I've done a couple videos on that using 10 inch deco mesh because I get that question asked a lot. Um, but you have to go around more times. Like you have to go around the wreath form at least four times um, to get really good coverage because you're using, you know, smaller, smaller pieces. Okay, guys, so right now I'm just cutting out all of our ribbon tails. And I'm doing four of each right now. Um... I might have to do a few more, but we'll see. I'm going to do four of each, and I'm just doing that same ribbon that I used in our bow, and then we're going to layer these ribbons and um, put them right on those little ties. 
I know this guys this wreath is gonna be adorable I'm so excited for it so go like my Etsy shop because I will be making um, another one of these and I'll add it into Etsy and if you follow me then you'll get notified when I when I post it but I do have uh, I have three custom orders I got to knock out so I have this one I have another cow one that someone ordered. And then I'm making a rooster one. I am so excited. Um, this client picked out this gorgeous um, tin rooster sign. So that's going to be super, super cute. And we'll make that together too. They have some really cute stuff at, some cute signs at Craft Outlet. I mean, they have cute signs at other places too, but I just, I love it. Okay, let's get this one. I'm just doing four of each of these ribbons. I'm just going to do three of these because I already had one left over from the wreath I made the other day. <gasps> Guys, that was so fun. I didn't tell you about that. So this was like my first experience delivering or having someone meet me at my hair studio that met me through TikTok. So this was my first like in-person uh, meeting with someone from TikTok and it was so great. She was so sweet and she brought her friend with her. It was such a good experience and that's actually what I posted on my TikTok today was meeting her and we took a picture together. It was so fun. So, so fun. Where's my thin um, plaid one? Did it fall? It might have fallen. Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, we're going to do... We're going to do a few extra of these. We'll do six of these instead of the four. So now I'm switching to that one and a half inch wired ribbon instead of the two and a half inch. These are 12 inches. These are all 12 inches. I just, um, guys, I took a piece of cardboard and measured out 12 inches and I wrap my ribbon around it and it's just it just saves time just saves me time and then I can dovetail them all at once instead of doing it um, individually um, where's this one there we go we'll do three of these and then I wanted to do some more of the plaid too Oh, is that my dad in the comments? Why are you saying LOL? All right. I'm just dovetailing all of these. And I'm going to do a couple more of the black and white plaid in the one and a half inch ribbon. We'll do three of these also. And then we're just going to start layering these ribbons and um, putting them right into those pipe cleaners that are already there on our wreath. And this was a 14 inch wreath base that we started with today. But it's gonna end up being about like 24 by 24, give a take. Okay, so now we have all of our ribbon tails um, set up. I'm just going to put these over here. We might need a few more. I don't know. I just, people always ask how many I cut and I'm like, I don't know. I just kind of wing it, <laughs> which isn't good, I guess, but I can always use it on the next wreath. So it's all good. Okay. So all of these extra pipe cleaners that I have, we're just going to start laying those in there. Hey, Dawn. That's my other um, friend who ordered one of these. I'm just waiting on some more signs to come in, and then I'll be making hers. Okay, so I'm going to do the stack of three and pinch it in the middle. And just I'm going to attach that right into those pipe cleaners and give them a few twists. And then I'm going to pull these ribbons out towards me so they fluff up out of the wreath and then I forgot to grab my little wire cutters and I'm going to cut that extra pipe cleaner off 
and then fold it right down into that wreath. So cute. So you can kind of see right there. And we're just gonna do that for every pipe cleaner that we have open. We're just gonna grab a few, and you can do two. You don't always have to do three. You can do twos, you can do threes. And just layer that in. But I always like to do um, like the two and a half inch on the bottom and then the one and a half inch on the top. And we're just gonna fluff that right out. We've got this super cute and some cow print. And then tuck that right in. Give it a little twist and then pull those ribbon tails out so they pop out of the wreath. And then cut that off. Oh, you found me on your FYP today. That's great. Hey guys. Oh, I'm so excited. So glad. So glad. Oh, let me give you the lowdown today. So, <laughs> So going back to why I didn't go live last night is because my husband got called in to work. Um, so I, of course, had the kids at home. So I didn't go back live because of that. And we were on our way out to dinner and he got the call that he had to go into work. <laughs> so um, I'm going to make this wreath. And then we're going to go out to lunch because we did promise the kids to go out to dinner and then we had to squash those plans. So we're going to do that for lunch. And then um, when I get back, I'm going to hop back on here and I'm going to make a Valentine's Day swag because um, I have this idea in my head and I want to make it. <laughs> so I'm going to hop back on here and we'll do that together. That will be fun. All right. So we are just layering these up and just... Put them right down in there. And then fluff them out. I just arch them, if that makes any sense. I like pull them towards me and then arch them a little bit. So they sit up and they don't sink down into the wreath. And then I just spread these layers apart mm -hmm. of the ribbon so you can see all the little layers. I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter because it's hanging on the side. There we go. We'll cut this one just a smidgy too. I'm just folding that. So you don't want the cute hey girl hey sign hidden. It's the whole point. You want to see halfway? Here's halfway. Looking cute. Oh my gosh, I love this hey girl hey. Okay, let's finish this up. We got a couple more to go. And I just try to pick up, um, you know, different, different ribbons each time. So there's not really like a definite pattern going on. Yeah, send it to me. Send me your pics. But not on TikTok. <laughs> Guys, I had no idea that you aren't allowed to um, send pics in Messenger on TikTok. Is it called Messenger on TikTok? I have no idea what it's called. But I found that out the other day when I made that custom order. Um, we had to exchange phone numbers because I had no idea that you can do that on TikTok. Who knew? I didn't. Um, so this one, if you're local, is 65. This one's considered a medium wreath. And then if I add it to my Etsy, I'll have to figure out shipping, but it would probably, I think it's about 90 on Etsy just because um, of the shipping cost. Let me tell you, these boxes are so expensive too. That's what eats into the shipping cost also. So crazy. I can't believe boxes. I mean, it's like a piece of cardboard and it's $5. It just, just boggles my mind. But like I said, if you're in the Houston area and um, you place an order with me, 
you can come and pick it up in Sugarland at my hair studio. So that can help with shipping cost if you don't want to pay for shipping. <clears throat> so you can just message me. Okay, got a couple more left. This is looking so adorable. What did I do last? Let's do these two. Tuck that into the sign. Oh, I love it. And just clip that off. All right, two, I think we got two more. We'll do this. Pull that in. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I know, this is so adorable. I'm so excited for Erin. So glad she found me on TikTok. All right, one more section. Perfect. Okay, guys, see, I had one extra. So that, that was perfect which is totally fine because I'm making more of these cow print wreaths later. So I will totally be using that. All right, and we're just cutting off those pipe cleaners and then pulling out that ribbon. I'm gonna pull my bow since I've been messing with it. So cute. Love, love, love. Just making sure all my ribbon is where I want it to be. We don't want it covering up our sign. Oh, I like that little splash of cow print. That is so cute. So, so cute. All right. And then let me grab some of that little ribbon. Um, this is another question I always get asked is how I hang my wreaths. I just grab a tiny bit of ribbon. Look how cute she is. Oh my god, I love it. Love. Okay, so I grab a tiny bit of ribbon and I thread it through that top bracket so it's hanging, right? And then I just knot it. Yes, I buy all my ribbon from Craft Outlet. It's an online store based out of Louisiana. So cute. Erin, are you still here? Let me know what you think, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to clean up the back of the wreath. I'm going to cut off some of these wires while y'all are looking. So cute. So fun. We want to tidy up the back of your wreaths, right? Because you don't want any of these pipe cleaners um, scratching your client's doors or your door if you're making it for yourself. So just make sure that you're pushing all of those pipe cleaners out of the way. All right. There it is. So, so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So that's it. So in love with it. And then here's the back again. So now y'all can see everything's nice and tidy and nothing's going to scratch your door. You got a nice little hanger. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off, um, but I will be back later. Um, probably like around nap time. I'll, oh, I missed a pipe cleaner. Let me clip that one off. Um, probably this afternoon, like before dinner. Um, it's 1030 here, just so y'all can get some time. Jute ribbon would be super cute too in, in the tails. Absolutely. 
Thank you. Thank you for loving my TikTok. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off and then I'll be back later today and I'm going to make a Valentine's Day swag. This one's going to be um, more like red and burlap. And um, it's not a custom order. It's just like this idea that's in my head and I want to make it. So we'll make that together and I'll be back. And I'm thinking um, before dinner, you know, like we'll go to lunch and, and then I'll hop on, I don't know, sometime after that during like nap time-ish. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will be posting this live video on YouTube. So go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Southern Owls. And I appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all later today. Bye, guys.